Hi there guys, basically I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to download another one of my freebies. I haven't actually created this one so the credit goes to, uh, let me just find his name quickly, I'm not too sure what it is. Um, but yeah, basically it's from this website, I'll just show you now. It's from cinema4dtools.net, there's quite a few freebies on there but obviously this is one that I found which I thought was quite cool. I've also used Kurulubinum and shown you that, I think I said that right. But basically this is a weaving pattern which you can create so obviously if you finally rendered it and you had kind of a fabric texture then you could create something like that and if you did something like that that's kind of more 3D wise it's, you know, it's not, it doesn't look as pretty as the first one uh, but obviously the possibilities are, are quite endless with Cinema 4D anyway so without much further ado I'll show you how to download it the link is in the description down below or you can literally just go to this website here uh, the link that I've given you will just start an automatic download for it uh, once you have got it, it will come in this zip folder here, just download it, open the folder which will open it here and then you've got your grid, so if we just take a look, that's obviously what you saw online so you know what it is, you've got README so this is kind of where you can go back, re-download it and then you've got the file, this isn't actually a plugin as such, it kind of is but it's also a preset file so you don't need to put it in your plugins folder, you literally just need to double click on it and it will open uh, in cinema like so. So yeah, I mean if you wanted to just save that file to your content browser you're more than welcome to or you could just leave it on your desktop and you can literally edit it from there. So if you did want to edit um, like the length of the weave, you know, the, how long it is, um, the amount of columns and things like this, you can change the segments as well and obviously this is all, you're all able to, to animate every single piece of this so just, just for the sake of it I will animate this very quickly so let's say that's on zero, 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 zero. We're going to put a keyframe there, but we're going to highlight all of them. And then we're going to come along to 65 and we're going to change it to, I don't know, 30 on each one. It's probably not going to work, it would be a laugh if it didn't. <laughs> Uh, there we go, and then I'm just going to highlight all of them again, and then put a keyframe and go back to the beginning. You will probably know what basic keyframing is, and this is it. And as you can see there, it kind of spreads out. So it is quite useful because you can do quite some, you know, lots of different things with this. Um, yeah, and you can change the colours of it individually as well. So enjoy. Uh, send me some videos as well, uh, don't be afraid to put them in the, the video response box below of what you've got. I haven't actually played with this yet, but I will be looking at doing something very soon, so perhaps I might get some inspiration from any of your ideas. So yeah, again, just click the download link at the bottom, and then literally just uh, you know click on the zip folder, and then just go from there, and it's all ready and waiting for you.